Here's a time lapse of me painting my self portrait called Cycles of Hope that I completed last year. And while you watch me doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about one of the biggest parts of being an artist is self doubt and having to live with self doubt. I was just talking about this today with a friend. And it's kind of this constant background noise in your mind. No matter who you are, this is like a universal thing that artists deal with. You might say, I'm not old enough, I'm not experienced enough, or you might say I'm too old and I'm not relevant anymore, or I haven't made enough money selling my art, or not enough people know my name, or the most common one, my art isn't good enough. And the thing is, we can always find a reason to not be good enough if we're looking for one. But nobody feels completely qualified. Nobody knows what they're doing. To be an artist is to be a perpetual student. It's part of the nature of creating new things continually. So what do you have to do to be an artist? You have to make art. Sometimes you might have endless ideas that you and things you want to try and endless enthusiasm for your art, but then you, you can't figure out what to focus on and so you don't get anywhere. And sometimes you have the intention of creating a lot of art, but then you fail to manage your time and then you just don't get much done. Or you might just be doubting your ability and getting too precious about it and placing too much importance on the end result. And then to the point where you fail to actually sit down and do the work. Because you're thinking, you know, why try if, I, if I'm just going to fail anyway? So as a professional artist or somebody who has made this, their life, your life is a life of constant pursuit. You're always pursuing meaning, quality, inspiration, new content, right? And in my experience, all of those things, the best and only way to find those things is through working, not just thinking, not just planning, not just wishing and dreaming, but taking action. And even while you're taking action, there's always this little background noise in your mind of all that self-doubt. And it's hard. It, you have to do a renewal of your commitment to your art every single time that you sit down to create the art. So it, it's not just one time you decide I'm going to be an artist. It's every single day when you go to the studio and you look at whatever's in front of you and you're, and you're trying something. So as an artist, you know, you um, can fall into patterns where you stop consistently producing new work. Um, whether, you know, the problem is a lack of discipline or a lack of confidence or both. And these are things that we all just have to deal with every single day of our lives and we um, we go to the studio and we work anyway and I don't have a better answer than that um, if you want to be an artist you have to create art <laughs>